in this video you see me make a start on the insulation and the battens and Philippe and Luciana were also helping out Philippe finished my job uh, making the braces and he learned how to handle the jigsaw <laughs> let's go Bom dia Maria Está tudo bem? Tudo bem senhora? Tchau. A lot of light in here. Maybe this is better. Uh, today's video. Insulation and patterns. But before we can do that... Um, on the first part of the roof I use these uh, metal strips. To, um, I bend them like on the top to uh, hook the two rafters on both sides together. Now I bought these two years ago <laughs> and I was looking in every DIY store now but I couldn't find them. So what I did now is I bought these uh, strips. I bought seven. We need 20, um, we have 20 rafters on each side. So I'm going to cut these in three, drill some holes in them, two screws for both sides, and then we should have nearly the same as this. So that we need to do first before the insulation can go on. Now about the installation. This is um, leftover from uh, two years ago. This is also what we used on the Mini. Uh, it's um, aluminium on both sides and it has like the bubbles in the middle, like from bubble wrap. And today I picked up another roll. But apparently it's a new addition because what they have now is they have... The um, bubble wrap is here just in the middle. And here they have sort of like sealed off the bubble wrap. So you cannot get into the holes. So that probably had a reason. I'm thinking about it, but um, I have no idea what the reason for that could be. So why am I uh, using this stuff? Uh, I got this advice uh, from my uh, Portuguese constructor advisor. And they would usually do it on the inside. If the roof is already there, they would like in between the beams, they would insulate it. Um, but I uh, also needed a water barrier on the outside. So I decided to end use it as a water barrier and uh, use this insulation for um, hmm. Disco. Use it as, um, as insulation on the outside. And um, this works very well. It's like known for the for the reflectiveness, of course. And as well inside, the, the heat inside as the heat outside. Uh, it keeps the, the heat inside very well and it keeps the heat outside very well. 
Um, this is supposed to work uh, as the same specifications as a um, eight centimeter rock wall. Uh, one thing I didn't think of is that it doesn't have any sound insulation. And now in my ghost town here, that is not such a big problem. But if you want to also have um, a soundproof roof, then you might want to consider uh, something that's also soundproofing. But for the heat, uh, this works very well. I know the Portuguese sometimes put multiple layers, but that's on the inside. Um, I thought one layer would be enough. I have it on the outside. Um, yeah, so first uh, let's cut these things uh, on the right size. Get them on. There is not so much day left. Um, because also we need to go shopping and do some other things. So yeah, and then the battens. Um, they are already on my location. I don't know if I have enough yet. I still need to see. Uh, let's see what we can still do. Here as in heat. She doesn't really know what to do with herself. <laughs> so I didn't got really far yesterday. Uh, I made 10. Uh, Philippe is now in the shed uh, finishing my job. <laughs> Thanks Philippe.
So what we are doing here is that we were doing a line it has like two like two centimeters and a half like to the beam to here and we we are making like a, a hole like to see like from from uh, from like up like from the like up to see when we need to uh, uh, when we need to cut not not by this where we need to cut like and like with the level we need like to cut a, a straight line like a beam to another like on top so now we are measuring measuring so yeah that's it
This is one of the Like I, I don't like this. Philip already had sex with the dad. No need. Ow! And he hurt the 